We're doing a sculpture trail out of Elliston. And this is the first one, a giant pair of thongs on Cape Finesse, it's called. And it's the cliff top drive that we're taking you through. We'll see how we go. First set of thongs. It's pretty cool. Three heads. This is on top of the headland. We've come around from Cape Finesse. So you get three heads. I'm not sure of the significance of the three. I'm not quite sure what this one is. Another sculpture by the sea. This is Cape Finesse, just outside of the town of Ellison. Quite a weird looking sculpture. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Maybe a seahorse to keep with the theme. So this is Cape Ellison, which is open to the sea take you over here and show you where the opening of the sea is so it goes around and into a protected harbour pan around and show you panoramic view ships go through there through the bar and then go out to see the fish Bit of a sea up today. Haven't seen any boats going through. Also on this tour we got a solitary head which is just down from the other headland. Still driving on the way into Elliston. On this dramatic cliff top. Which is great. Be better on a finer day, but anyhow, we're doing it. This then brings us down to Salmon Point, which is on the way back into Elliston. Quick snatch of this view as it's starting to get a bit on the inclement weather side. Right, this is a spot called Locks Well. This is 15 kilometers east of Elliston towards Coffin Bay. We're just trying to find somewhere where it's, hopefully this rain breaks, but Anyway, we make our best of it. Walk swell, and that's good. Fishing for salmon here, apparently. There's a sign back there saying it's probably the best spot to catch your eastern salmon. It's a fishing spot, predominantly. People do swim here. There's advisory signs for rips. Yeah, walk swell. And I said before, there's quite a big sea rolling, so that's quite good. We've come again further out from Elliston, which is up through those two headlands. This is Cape de Veteran. Another spot that's beautiful. This is midway between Elliston that way and Port Lincoln that way. This is quite the spot, really. Another beach that I say people swim here because they've got signs up to say careful of strong rips but I guess people do take their chance and do surf here and swim. Can't tell. So as I said Cape Le Vetran or De La Vetran, down here in uh, 
midpoint between Elliston to the west, two headlands over Elliston. And this is through to um, Port Lincoln that way. I just had to read something there. But yeah, as I said, this beach is, uh, you can swim in it, although it has warning signs up, strong currents, but locals have been known to surf and swim on it. I don't think I would if it's a bit rough and ready for myself. That rain's cleared off and we're starting to get some good weather again. We'll keep following this coastal road around and through and this will take us part of the way back to Elliston which will bring us back so we can go back to Lock. But uh, this is a coast that we have said quite often today. It reminds us a lot of Ocean Road, Port Campbell through Victoria. Very, very similar coastlines. Here we are at beach level, Cape Della Veteran. We've come down and seen these rocks and we're going to have a walk on the beach. Cape Della Veteran, just outside Elliston. Quite, quite the sea running today, it's quite rough. But uh, we're going to investigate, have a look at the rocks. What if first beach walk in South Australia? First beach walk in South Australia? Well, this part anyway. We're sand's just soft. taking in the sand. Sand is soft. The water is still green colour. It's good. We're uh, exploring what looks to be some rocks, which are good. Now, as I keep saying, Ellison is that direction, but <coughs> we're trying to get some photography in as well. I've got a new camera and she's doing course, so we're both on courses doing videography and Rel's doing still photography. So we're trying to capture what we've learnt online Put it into practice. Rel's doing her photography as I said, I'm doing videography and together we're trying to capture what we've learnt and hopefully you guys can let us know in comments how we're going with our videography. If not, let us know in comments. But uh, these are interesting rocks. Colours and shapes and textures are all different. Locals reckon that if you keep your eyes peeled, you might spot a seal. But it's a 50-50 bet, that one. I'll just let you have a look at the view. I'll do a short pan of the area so you've got a good sense of Point de la Vetra.